Alright, now this mean monster here, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra was launched in February 2022. And we are inching closer to another unpacked event in February 2023, where the Galaxy S23 series will be launched. So it's been close to a year since the launch of S22 Ultra, and I would like to share my experience with this phone. And by the end of the video, I'm going to answer a few questions such as, should you upgrade to S22 Ultra from any of your previous gen phones? Or should you upgrade your S22 Ultra to the S23 Ultra. So keep watching the video and before we go ahead, do consider subscribing to the channel and click on that like button if you want to appreciate the content on the channel here. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is how comfortable this phone is to use. Of course, it's a pretty big device compared to regular S series. However, the form factor of this phone makes it very comfortable to hold. It has these curved edges on the glass front as well as glass back, which is very nice to hold it inside your palms. Yes, the sharp corners could become uncomfortable sometimes, but hey, most of us use cases and with the case on, this phone is perfect. Now I did drop the phone a few times with the case on and this phone fared pretty well. And another thing to note is since display is pretty big, sometimes you need to use two hands to tap on the contents on the top. So reachability in one hand could be a minor issue here. Now let's talk about the most important aspect that is the battery life. This phone being an Android flagship with a 6.8 inches WQHD LTPO2 S AMOLED display which has a variable refresh rate from 1 to 120 Hz rocking a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. This phone can deliver a screen on time of 7 to 8 plus hours on a moderate usage and on a heavy usage 6 plus hours of screen on time which is pretty good. This rocks a 5000 mAh battery which seems to hold up pretty well. Now talking about the display, the display quality is just superb. You would love to watch movies or any media contents on this phone and this rectangular shape on this display is cherry on the cake for media consumption. Even in brightly lit conditions, the display is quite clearly visible. Of course, that is expected of 1750 nits of brightness on this device. Now when it comes to performance, obviously the phone can handle anything you throw at it, but how about the heating issues on this phone? As far as the Snapdragon variant is concerned, I did not notice any abnormal heating issues as such. Just while playing games or video recording in 4K for longer times resulted in some heat which is pretty normal on Android phones so that should not be a matter of concern at all. Now the cameras. I don't really have to talk much about it. This is a phone which has one of the best camera modules and can take some amazing pictures. And when it comes to portrait images, this phone can produce some incredible images and great bokeh effects. Anyone looking at the portrait images taken on this phone would say that this is shot on a DSLR. That's how good the portrait images delivered on this phone. Even the selfie shooter is pretty good. It can take some amazing pictures. Now, as far as the videos are concerned, I am not 100% satisfied because I also use iPhone 14 Pro Max and in this department, I felt Samsung could have done a better job in terms of video quality. I'm sure Samsung will work on it and improve the video quality in S23 series. Now this 100x zoom is just a gimmick for me, but hey, don't judge me. Of course, it's a fantastic feature for some people for sure. Let me know whether you use 100x zoom for any practical purpose. Drop a comment. Okay, now let's talk about the operating system on this device. This phone was launched with Android 12 or One UI 4.0 out of the box and it got upgraded to Android 13 recently. So currently it is on Android 13 and it is eligible to get another three major Android upgrades. In February 2022, Samsung announced that uh, it's top of the line series and some of the current and future A series and Fold series phones are going to get four years of major Android upgrades and five years of security patches, which means the S22 Ultra is going to get up to Android 16, which will be released in the year 2026. And the security patch until 2027 for this device. That is just crazy, isn't it? Samsung will keep you happy with all these updates and some amazing One UI features for the next three years for this device. These are some of the things which I wanted to share. Apart from these, the S Pen on this phone works like a charm with minimum latency, which Samsung achieved with this phone. The call quality is great. Stereo speakers are amazing. The software features are fantastic. For some reason, I don't see any issues with this phone at all. When I use this phone, I get the vibe of Note 9, which was the best phone Samsung produced until 2018. Now this S22 Ultra, which is actually the Note 22 Ultra, is the best Samsung has ever delivered so far. Okay, now let's come to the important part of this video. There are a few questions which I would like to answer and share my personal opinion 
First one is, should you upgrade to S22 Ultra from any of your previous gen phones? My answer is yes, you should upgrade as this is a complete package which includes an S Pen. If you are on S20 series, Note 20 series or any previous gen phones, you can upgrade it to this phone. However, if you own S21 series, you can perhaps keep it for another year or two and upgrade it to S23 or S24 series. The reason being the S21 series, especially the S21 Ultra is a great phone even today and can go on for another couple of years without any issues. Now the next question is, should you upgrade your S22 Ultra to S23 Ultra? Obviously the answer is a big no. The S23 Ultra is going to be an incremental upgrade with same design language and spec bump. So it doesn't really make sense to upgrade from S22 Ultra to S23 Ultra or even S24 Ultra for that matter. Just keep it for the next couple of years and upgrade to S25 maybe that would be the right decision for you. Last question is if you have S21 series or S20 Note 20 series should you upgrade it to S22 Ultra or S23 Ultra. Now this depends on how much money you are willing to shell out. If you don't have any budget constraint you can buy the S23 Ultra and if you want to save some money and invest it in a, a smartwatch or earbuds you can go ahead and do that because samsung will offer some good discounts for the s22 series after the launch of s23 series these are just my opinions you can share your thoughts in the comment section let me know which device you currently own and uh, whether you are planning to upgrade we can discuss in the comment section so do drop a comment that's all i wanted to share with you guys in this video if you have not subscribed yet on the channel go ahead subscribe i have already pre-reserved the galaxy s23 ultra you will get to see loads of contents on that phone and comparison videos with the s 22 Ultra and the Note 20 Ultra. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and do not forget to give a like for this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.